Hi peeps! Welcome to Maestrang Techie YouTube channel! If you want to know how to submit assignments in Google Classroom using your mobile phone, please keep on watching. Okay, so before we start, i-download muna natin ang Google Classroom app. Open lang natin natin Play Store or App Store and search Google Classroom. So, ito yung itsura ng Google Classroom app. Let us install it to our mobile phones. So, here it is. Open natin. At ito ang itsura ng ating Google Classroom app. Get started. In this point, you will sign in to your personal Gmail account. Make sure na ito na talaga yung gagamitin ninyo sa pag-enter sa mga Google Classroom. So, here it is. Pag kinlik niyo yung picture niyo, makikita niyo dyan kung ano yung gamit niyong account or pwede din kayong mag-switch ng account. Pag kinlik naman yung free dots, you can refresh the Google Classroom. Free vertical lines, makikita niyo yung mga settings at iba pang mga options. Next, click natin yung plus icon to join in a class. Ilalagay lang natin ang ating class code na binigay ng ating teacher para maka-join tayo sa classroom. Pagkalagay natin ng class code, click lang natin yung join para maka-enter na tayo sa Google Classroom. At the bottom part, makikita natin yung tatlong tab, Stream, Classwork, and People. So, itong nakikita natin ngayon, this is the Stream tab. Nakikita natin mga posts at announcement ng ating teacher. Pwede din tayo mag-comment dito sa teacher's post at makita din natin yung mga reply ng ating mga classmates. So, next Classwork tab, pag tinlik natin yan, may kita natin dyan lahat ng topics at lahat ng mga assigned activities. Click lang natin yung three vertical lines, may kita natin dyan yung to do that shows all your assigned activities na kailangan ninyong submit at nandun din ang deadline. So let us try to answer a question type of assignment. So kapag ganito, May question, basahin lang natin yung question, yung instructions ni teacher, and then i-type in lang natin yung ating sagot. Kapag tapos na tayo, i-click lang natin yung hand in para masubmit ang ating answer. Kapag naman, meron ka nakalimutan sa yung sagot, you can edit your answer and click hand in again. Okay, so as easy as that, we can check the status of our activity in the to-do. So as you can see, wala na siya dito sa to-do. Yung assignment na pinasa natin ay nasa done na. Okay, now let us try to answer another activity. This kind of activity or assignment ay mayroong nakatouch na Google document. So kapag may question tayo about this assignment, we can private comment our teacher. So, let us open the attached Google document. So, para ma-answer natin to, click natin itong icon na to to open in Google Drive. In that way, ma-edit na natin ng madali yung ating Google document. So, lagay lang natin yung ating mga answers sa assignment na ito. If you are done, click lang natin yung check icon and click natin yung three dots para masubmit ito sa ating teacher. After that, click natin yung share and export and make sure natin na naka-on itong link sharing and click copy link. So, ito yung unang paraan para masubmit ang assignment sa ating teacher. Okay, submit na natin yung ating assignment. Click lang natin add attachment and then link. And then, i-paste natin yung kinapi natin na link kanina. And do not forget to click add. So, here it is. Ito na yung ating attachment. Click na natin hand in para masubmit na ang ating assignment. Another way of submitting your assignment is click ulit natin share and export. Then, make a copy. Para magkaroon ka ng kopya ng assignment sa iyong Google Drive. You can also write your name. And then, select na natin yung destination folder sa ating Google Drive. Pili lang natin and then click natin select. So, here it is. Nandyan na yung ating copy ng assignment sa ating personal Google Drive. Pwede natin i-check. Yan yon. And then, balik na tayo. I-attach na natin to. I-submit na natin to sa ating Google Classroom. Katulad ng ginawa natin kanina. Click lang natin. Add attachment. And then, choose natin yung drive. And then, my drive. And let us look for our saved file. 
and click lang natin yung select. So, let us wait for it to be attached. So, here it is. Click lang natin yung submit para masubmit yung ating assignment. And that is it. So, easy, di ba? So, check natin yung status ng ating assignment. Kung ito ba ay nasubmit talaga, puntahan natin yung to do. And as you can see, wala na dyan yung ating assignment. Ito ay nasa done na because it is already submitted. So, as easy as that on how to submit your assignment in Google Classroom using your mobile phone. If you have questions, comment down below. And do not forget to like, share, and subscribe this video. Thank you for watching. Bye!